guys, welcome back to another Soma video. And where we left off, we were in playing in Theta. We got to find somebody who has the cipher code to unquarantine the Dunbat so that we can go and grab the Ark. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go throughout Theta. Keep in mind that Theta is the heart of where apparently all this stuff started. So there's probably going to be some major boss fights. Look forward to me screaming, and without further ado, let's get into this. If you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is always appreciated, and I do not like the noises that I am hearing. Oh, nope. Let me guess, this is the same thing. Oh, is that a camera? That's a camera. Place looks deserted. So yeah. Data is clearly the best option for survival. Huh? You thought? Swipe the Omni tool. Oh, I can't swipe the Omni tool because she is the Omni tool. Okay, so it's option A or B. Okay, let's. Ah, screw it. Okay, I like lights. Lights are good. Lights are more bueno. What's up with the slanted ass ceiling? I do not approve. God, it's like a maze. Where the hell did they all go? If Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron. Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. Highly doubt it. Uh, I kind of don't want to go. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, God! Uh, expected. Expected. Because I knew that there was going to be big boss fights in here. I knew that coming into this place. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. Carry it to town? Now, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Oh, God. <laughs> that's... that's a little freaky. So I am definitely a robot. Disheartening. Oh, you should really stop that, whatever you're doing. Oh god. Okay. Nothing interesting there. All right, lights are gonna flicker again, question mark. This looks like it used to be an elevator. Oh, I heard, I hear noises. I don't like noises, what is this? Can't pick it up. Nope. All right, well, I guess I'll just keep going this way. Can't go up or down, great, okay. Oh, you should really stop that. I don't appreciate it. Error. Oh, wow. It's been a while since I've seen these. Guy Conrad. Uh, is there a light switch in here? I would much appreciate a light switch. What's this? Is this like the evac plan? It looks like an evac plan. Microwave radiation, electric hazard, emitter and battery are hot. Don't look into emitter. All right, I might need those, so. Okay, is there anything else interesting in here? Doesn't seem so. Nadine Masters. Maggie, come. Oh, hey, that's that one girl. Brandon Wan, we've heard about him. Kath Catherine Chun. 
Catherine. Hey, that's Myra. Yes, yes, it is. A souvenir? No, it's just memories. What is this? Journal. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a, a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of, of my AR capsule. Hmm. After just... After di dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurograph. The Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan Reed emerged. The read inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it works with the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seeds. They are already they are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seeds are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspected WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence and machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. And then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Saring killed himself after his scan. He has been suggested, suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Drummer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Huh. And I like. Oh. It's like nothing else in here. It's very hard to see anything. I can I grab it? No. All right. Yeah. There's like there. They need some light bulbs in here. Oh well, that would have helped. Oh, I don't like those noises. Oh, hey, what is that? That's not creepy at all. What if there was a light in that other guy's room? And I'm just like oblivious. There was. Fucking killed myself. Some interesting pictures on the walls. Alright, let's see. Javid Goya. Pretty sure we heard about him. John Stromier. Heard about him. Mark Serang. This is the guy that killed himself. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna get through your room. Right, light bulb. Thank you. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by... By... What? By causing to live as your... By ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in... Secret by folding... Cyanide smells into cheering gun, chewing gum, and playing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce competition, I will, I will bite down quickly, causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death. No, that's not something, it's not, it's no tragedy to mourn, for I am, mm, uh, 
I can't read that word. I advise you all to do the same and join the ins and join me inside the ark. Sincerely, Mark Serang. UHS question mark? Uh, what is that? Oh, is this him like determining what these things are? Is that a math equation to figure out what the heck is going on with this? Screw you, dude. Nobody needs math. Gross. He's, try he's trying to figure out math on these things. Gross. Look at this. It's all math. Why? Ooh, what is that? Have I seen that yet? Got anything else interesting that you're hiding? What is this? Exit event C218. Ooh, classified. In Carthage. Mark Serang, Intelligence Analysis Theta, Pathos 2. Mr. Serang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WOW a station wide presence. We trust your pre. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery to do so you need to ensure that dr johan johan ross is able to steer and study the wow from alpha without outside interference in case of an emergency you may direct julia doll at omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions the WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. The supervisory board. What is this? Pavilion, the nature of identity. Questions about yourself? Who are you? What does it mean? Uh, so he was having questions about himself. <laughs> Anything else in these drawers? Probably not. Yes. What is this? That's a floating ball. Don't know what it is. Kind of don't want to find out. It's confidential. Maybe something important. Stapler. Ooh. Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? I did not. They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Well, that was interesting. It looks like we got two more Robin. Robin Bass. Or Bass. It's the girl that was outside. Um, excuse you, open. Light switch. Oh god, that scared me. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess this is what she wanted the arc to look like. 
we're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Serang in the continuity. Uh oh. Uh, pictures of horses. Cat photo. Again, I'm going to guess that this is what she wants uh, the continuity to look like. The arc. Ferris wheel. Huh. Just gonna move that out of the way. Nothing interesting in there, nothing too... Oh, wait, what the heck was that? Oh, I know what those are. What, wait, what is that? Stopesil? Original? I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. Oh my god! Okay, didn't need the, the sound effects. Oh god. Uh... Okay, so I guess she just slit her throat with a barber's knife? Oh god. Uh. Yeah, I'm guessing this is what she wanted it to look like. Again, guessing this is what she wanted it to look like. It's interesting how they put pictures on top of the already drawn picture and it kind of like flows into it. That's kind of interesting. Anything else interesting? Oh, excuse you. Oh, you have this locked. Interesting. What were you hiding, Robin? Martin Fisher. Oh. Oh, uh, there's no light in this one. Um. So here's the deal. I'm not going to touch you. I'm going to walk away. Oh, what is that? I saw something. Oh, God, what is that? I don't, I don't want to come in contact with it. That actually looks terrifying. I'm going to have to... I have to fight that thing, or outsmart it. Oh god. <sighs> now the seal. It's a chair. Oh god, and there's blood around the chair. Oh no. Oh! That's just dirty. This is where I did my scam. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Fair enough. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? A uh, maser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. The guy was fat. Connection error troubleshooting. Error code unable to connect to the mainframe. Please reset router in the sublevel vault or contact maintenance. All right. Oh god, that scared me for a second. Okay. Ah, I see. What? 
check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Terminal. Non comp. Non composition. Compressed. Neurograph. March 12, 2014. Uh, December 11. So she's from my time. December 11th, 1997, death July 17th, 2021, didn't live that long, nationality Japanese, why not? What is Berg? Oh, it's just a bunch of different people. Ooh, Munchie! We'll get to him in a second. April 28th. Author David Munchie, Paul Berg, X-Mail, uh, November 27, 1984, August 2, 2069. He's Canadian. What's going on, Mr. Munchie? David Munchie? How did this... What is this? Continuous time, October 4th, 1980, May 23rd, 2078. He's Canadian. Author Paul Berg. So, wait. Munchie did Bergs and Bergs did Munchies? That's confusing. And Jarrett. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? <laughs> You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. The legacy scan. The legacy scan? What, do, what does that even mean? Simon Sherry, July 16, 1988, June 1st, 2015. So I died. I died on... Oh, okay. Canadian. Okay. Things are starting to come into play. Post scan. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. This freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. That's, that's weird. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't yep. worry, it's really not. We're going to keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. And then what happened? The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah. So he literally just... He literally just killed me right there. You'd be okay with that? And then so my character was just fucking okay. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. <laughs> you know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Well, on that depressing note, What's a we're going to go ahead and cut the video. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along, waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. So who did it? 
Anyway, on that depressing note, we're going to go ahead and cut the video. Learned a little bit about myself. My character was... He he somehow forgot that he consented to this, it seems like. Like, he consented to it, didn't know he was going to die. Munchie felt bad that he was going to die, and, or that he killed him, actually. And then our character was just kind of like, eh, oh well, it's kind of done now. Just use me for your research, I guess. And then we were just gone for almost a thousand, or not a thousand, almost a hundred years. So... This game is very confusing. It's very interesting, but it's very confusing. So, if you guys did like the video, if you guys have watched any of the rest of the series, or if you guys plan on finishing the series with me, go ahead, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.